Hey guys, in this video we will see how to integrate the modern and powerful Frola editor in our React app. Basically if you want to create a website where content is the king and where you want to provide your users a beautiful feature rich text editor to add content like custom blog posts and pages without needing you to create it from scratch or if you like to create a custom email templates Frola can be super useful. Even if you are a beginner and you like to learn HTML and CSS, Frola can be your fellow tutor as well. With Frola you get code and live views of your work both at the same time. I really like Frola because it has a lot of customizable features and also it is very easy to integrate in my applications. So let's get started with integration of Frola into a React app. So on their website you can see we have technology section. Frola is supported with most of the big tech stacks. In this video as we are interested in integrating it with React. So I will choose React and click on the integration guide. From here as you can see we need to install two of these packages to make it work. So first of all I am going to create a new React application. Let's use the Vite setup. I will open CMD in my projects directory. Copy paste the Vite command. I will call my app frola-app. Choose React and JavaScript. Then I will cd into my newly created project and install dependencies or the node modules folder whatever you say. After it is done, let's open our app inside VS Code. And here I will run the app by writing npm run dev in a new terminal. And as you can see my app is started running on port 5173. Now as I like port 3000 instead, so to change the port in Vite, I will go to the Vite config file and here I will add a new key value pair as server and inside the value object, I will write port 3000. And as soon as I save, the port is changed. So now I see my app running on port 3000 successfully. Next let's remove this beer minimum app. Instead I will simply write frola review here in the JSX. I remove the counter state variable and also I don't need these imports. Also I will clear the default styling from index.css and as you can see we have the fresh new project. Now to integrate frola in our application. Let's install the React Frola package from the official doc. Also I need to add Frola editor package. And as you can see they have mentioned font awesome to install as well. It is not necessary but let's do it. So in the package.json file you see we have all the packages listed that we installed. Now let's rerun the project. And let's add and test the Frola text editor. So I will start by importing Frola editor from React Frola package and use this component in my JSX. After that we also need to import the styling files at the top provided by Frola. So as I am done with the bare minimum setup, let's test it out and as you can see we have the nice text editor appears that we built by using just one line of code. Now the cool part is that as you can see we have such nice controls to start with content creation at the top. If you want to add a placeholder text, edit any features and tools, we can use a config prop. I will start by adding a simple placeholder text inside a config object and pass the config down to my config prop in the component. I will need this tag prop to make it work. And now if I reload you can see we have a nice placeholder text. Similarly you can edit or remove any feature from the config. Also as you can see we have few tools right now. If you want to add even more controls such as image uploads and other important tools. For example if I want to add image picker tool in my Frola text editor. We can import this image import line for adding image picker tool or instead I can use a one and only import at the top. So let's use this one and now if you see we get all the tools that we need in order to work with a rich text editor. Here I am showing you the few tools and possibilities you have with this amazing software.
can see how awesome this text editor provided by Frola is and what you can achieve through it. Not only that you can create content and visually appealing pages with Frola, but also you can access to the HTML code for your content builder using log messages that you can store to your database and create practical solutions. And also you are able to work with it as an HTML editor as well. So guys, if you want to integrate a powerful and rich text editor in your applications, make sure to check out Frola text editor. So that's it guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Here also I would like to say thanks to Frola team for sponsoring this video. At the end, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next time.